بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هلو everybody to open sab you have to go to sab login icon you can find favorite shortcut connection connections all included your server or another server related to sab this server its name is brd just click you can write your user and the password after opening you can find there is a favorite transaction and there is SAP BM transaction and this transaction divided to two types the first type considered active transaction and the other type is in active transaction active transaction this is mean you can use this transaction according to your privilege and in active transaction this is mean you couldn't use or you are not authorized to use this transaction because you are not authorized to use this is depend on your privilege my friend okay we will use iw38 IW38 it is a transaction used to change BM work orders BM work order this is mean group of work order if we just click on it or we can write IW38 and enter to be in capital or small letter there is no difference to write the transaction in capital or small letter okay we found work order sets outstanding in process completed historical. I will highlight all. Just, just this is checkbox. This is mean okay. Order if you have a serial of work order, for example, from one to ten, you can write from one to ten. Or if you have a different work order, not in serial, separated, not in serial, but a group of work order, you can use multiple selection here and to best this list of work order and take care this list to be written on excel okay and after that execute f8 you can submit this work order for search okay this is a part if you have a function location same the same if the function location is serial from two or you can use multiple function location equipment same the same material if you have if you know the material for this work order notification if you know the notification on the work order main work center this is mean you if you have this work center if you write one single value you can write here mag okay period this is from two by dates i can use from the start of march 25 to 30 of June 25 take care how to write the date on sub 01 dot this is day this is month this is a year so we use dot to be as a separator between day month and a year execute or press F8 we have our sub report this work order which have a menu center mag m elec and from period of 1st of March to 30 of June you have now all of this work order created on this is the creation date okay order type description system status user status function location basic start and basic finish if we need to search for the work order by the basic start and the basic finish you can go back or press f3 okay we will remove the date from the period here and we can find general data administration general data administration contain basic start date and in our case from the 1st of march to 30 of june 25 execute or f8 we already make our filter by basic start and basic finish sort ascending 
you can find all data from the start of March 25 to 30 of June 25 so we have now this list of four quarter okay for this type of report first of all you have a lot of fields here work center work order number created on work order type description system status user status maybe if you use IW38 you will not find this arranged by the same way or you can find some fields or column hidden how we can modify this right click on any column or field then you can find show select and click show mean you have this list of fields for example the first field we have it's the main work center you can find it here order created on work order type we have all of this okay you need to move main work center to be after order so you just selected it and use arrow down if you need to remove any of this column just select this column enter the by and you can use this right or left arrows right arrows mean the field will be hide what is this window this window contain all hidden fields maybe you need some data from it then you can select any field you want it to be showing in your report for example priority type and by left arrow you can edit it to the showing report select the field and use down arrow to move it to the end of the report if you wanted to have the equipment you can use the equipment and move you can find the equipment use arrow down to arrange it and after that okay we found work order main work center become second here you can find priority type equipment if exist okay for a group of work order you need to change or you need to modify first of all you can modify this work order one by one for example if I go to this work order I can modify short description and long description if you can't see long description just click on show long description and after that you can be able to modify you have system status and you have here user status for system status you just go to status icon and you will select active status you can find the standard workflow status for the work order first of all work order CRTD it's created REL released TECO technically completed BCNF partially confirmed and so on this is the standard status according to the SAP and it show you the work order life workflow if you open any work order you the check the status reflect work order system status this is means this work order is technically completed CNF it's confirmed and GBFI is job finished NMAT no material component BRC pre-costed SETC settlement rules created okay this is a part user status 
it is a status customized in order to support or facilitate for the user to know how order is going and this is customized by the meaning it can be deviated from company to company for example here we have initial waiting review waiting approve approval okay and we have some status is a status without number so we have this status which have a number 10 20 25 for example if this work order is waiting approval it will be have a status 25 and we have some status customized also without any number okay but this is customized status don't bother your mind inside it let's we click on escape you can find planner group you can find the main work center which we already we searched it for all work order in this work center okay you have notification if this work order have this notification dates basic start and the basic finish date function location if it exists equipment can be identified when we create the notification okay this is about operation it's to contain the job have to be executed to complete this work order each operation have its own work center and they will speak about it in future inshallah component this is mean if we have any consumables any spare part related to this work order okay let's return it back again so now you have this work order you now have the status so you can search for a specific status for a specific user how we can search it inside it for example user status just right click set a filter if you write a p p r you can find all approved work order we have just the four you can modify any one of them as we said if we find the long description is not clear we or not showing we can just click in it to show and to write whatever we like okay let's return back again if you wanted to make a modification in this work order all of them at once you can just select one or two or three we have this three work order and we need to make a modification over this just this three work order okay you can use this icon it's called details icon or use control shift f1 okay modify whatever the modification you would like to do and after that save or cancel if i right cancel i find the next one will be appeared and i can make my modification and i will save or cancel i found the third one if i finish close again now we have already selected three and we make a modification on this three okay everybody